Cook a little rice with it or something, will you? Something, you know, either rice or noodles. <laughs> okay, Timmy. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Why do you have to know about my rice and noodles? <laughs> huh? I didn't know what you were going to say. Rice and noodles. What if you'd walked in here and I was talking business? <laughs> Some personal like matters, Jack, possibly. Yeah. You look cute today in your red shirt, huh? All right, now, what have I got to do? It's 8 o'clock. Why are we starting now? Is it crazy? They're trying to finish it, Jack, for the week, see? Well, let's get him finished. Let's get him out of here. Huh? Finished with the assignment. Beautiful. Excellent work. Great work. Can I have a look in your back? And you want to go in with me while I go? No. <laughs> I do have to go. It's pretty neat, huh? See? Is it blessed, Jack? Mm -hmm. Toothbrush? I'll brush my teeth for you, Viv. Okay. Mm -hmm. I always brush my teeth before I report back in for work. Why? Consideration for my co-workers. It's grueling enough without a face full of lamb cutlets. Mmm. They'll be so grateful to me now. What? They'll be so grateful. They'll say, look at that cat. We let him come down. Even though it's midnight. <laughs> That's not true. It's 8 o'clock. And Lord knows. What he's been doing. He's down here, and he has a fresh and sparkling breath. You see? Now, you'll have to excuse me now because I'm going to take a piss. Thank you. Why don't you get some shots of me when I'm great looking and everything? You're looking fine. You better get fresh cut on this girl, Jack. Let me ask you a question, Terry. We're indoors. I don't need the big coat, do I? Nice and warm. Good job. Good show. There's some lights out here. Oh, I keep wanting to let you go ahead of me. Plain sweater men in here, so we're probably all right. Yeah, they know a lot, man. Jack, some of them are really quality teams. We're all straight through the, uh, straight on through. This thing ought to be a little lurking. What? Look, look. Lurking is right. Make a fire. I see. Just say turn over when you're ready, Sammy. 
Three were quite good. I think the last two were the better. Previous two. Okay, let him go. Let's play back the last four takes. All I thought about is what. <laughs> what? What do you think about? What? All I thought about is what my mom and my dad were gonna buy me. Gonna <laughs> buy you? For what? With all that money. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. And did you do you know how much did you know how much you were going to be earning per week? No, really, I didn't. Did they know, tell you? I didn't know really how much I was gonna. I didn't. I didn't know really I was gonna earn any money. Uh -huh. No, I just thought I would just get a two dollars or so. Uh -huh. so. A bit of pocket money. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> and so now I know I probably have five or five or six hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> How did you find working with this little guy, Danny Lloyd? And was it enjoyable? Was it? It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just like my son. You see tears, it will be tears of joy. Because I thank the Lord I'm here and was able to work with such beautiful people. I'll never forget this. I saw Boris Karloff marks his lines. I, I've copied it ever since. Then simply by picking them up and reading it turns me into a freaking monster <laughs> that's the interjection right yep i'm gonna go now i'll i'll be back by tomorrow morning at the latest wendy yes you've got a surprise coming to you you're not going anywhere try the snow cat in the radio and you'll see what i mean I'm sorry, I had to do it. There's something wrong with you, and I had to lock you in. Wendy, open the goddamn door. Oh, I'm sorry. I really have a lot of time. Wendy, listen to me. Let me out of here, and I'll forget the whole damn thing. Wendy, listen to me. Let me out of here, and I'll forget the whole damn thing. Might be better to just play it as a medium shot with the situation. Can you do it with your head down? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's not bad. Let's do that. <laughs> Try that, Jack. Wendy, listen to me. Let me out of here and I'll forget the whole damn thing. It'll be like it never happened. You couldn't, you couldn't find some way of sort of not looking at her and looking down as you say the line. Go check it out. <laughs> hmm. Very good, Jack. Excellent. Right, check the gate, Doug. Now, it's not the script. I've given it to Philip. He's going to mull over it, you see. And would you like to mull over it? I'd love to mull but over you, it, Junior. You're not even... 
No, no, no. I mean, I have some time this evening. I, no, no, the thing I is, this one... I wasn't planning on doing anything for between midnight <laughs> and two. Is, and that's the not the real script. It's just, it's an, just idea an idea to get started on. Very good. Filmmaking. <laughs> get these things. We make it up as we go along. Oh. Don't we, Viv? And why is the script in multicolored pages? Anything? Because each time you make a new version, at first, you get very methodical, and each time you make a new version, you put in a different color. After a while, you know, you're lucky if people get copies of the changes. <laughs> it's so that you start with white, then you go yeah. to blue, then pink, then I green, then wondered. yellow. Yeah. But what it's, happens? It's so that when everybody's got their script out, you can look right over and know if they've got the latest version. But of course, you but never have the latest blue version. Blue yellow here. isn't significant, no. the, mm -hmm. just colors. I quit using my script. I just take the ones they type up each day. <laughs> Aren't you exaggerating a little bit? No. no. <laughs> the average celebrity meets in one year ten times the amount of people that the average person meets in his entire life. And uh, Mr. and Mrs. Piggott. Mr. Kruger. And Mr. Wilson. Mr. Kruger. And that's Mr. Val. How do you do? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this is just supposed to be. How do you do? Very nice to meet you. And this is all our gang. And Katie and Liza. They're so excited. And Mr. and Mrs. Piggott. How do you do? And Mr. Willis. And Mr. Piggott. Jack's such a big star. Such a famous personality that people do tend to be a bit sycophantic with him. But uh, it wasn't everyone, but yeah. some people did. And it wasn't entirely ineffectual. <laughs> no. I mean, I, I did get jealous sometimes, I must admit. Mm. Why was that? Well, it was mostly between takes, not during work. I mean, when we were actually working on a scene, that did not interfere at all. But um, on occasions when we were just sitting around or uh, about to come to work um, or standing by in our rooms, whatever, I mean, uh, there were times where I felt a bit jealous because he got very, very much attention. And I suppose I like attention. <laughs> I'm just, no, it's okay, wait. No, I don't want you on the console. No, don't. Yeah. It's all this color. Oh, it's good. Oh, no, it's okay. Okay. All right. All these out of the way. It just comes and goes. Yes. Oh, dear. I've just got some there. Yes. Oh, God, thank God I came out. Why didn't you shout or something? Oh, um, yeah. I don't know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> this is your friendly first assistant being friendly. Is it in your dressing room? From May until October, I was really in and out of ill health because the stress of the role was so great and the, the stress of being away from home, just uprooted and moved somewhere else and I had just gotten out of a relationship and um, so for me it was just tumultuous. Look at this. I pulled all my hair, I pulled hunks of hair out on the windowsill. And the back got cut. Need to trim that. Hunks of hair. Oh, look. Okay. It just comes okay, out. Okay, right now, fellas. Yeah. You're right, Sean. There's more to come, Shell. Come on. Come on. No, I'm going to set up anyway now, boys. Yeah, come on, Shell. Oh, Get the dummy. No, he shouldn't carry him. That's right. Okay, let's go. No, I Have a find your please, the 18th. Yeah. 18 in the tube. Swing it all back in here. Yeah, it's got to go outside. There was time. And it's 25 to 1. Well, I don't sympathize with Shelly. It doesn't help you, wouldn't it? Yes, it does. It does. 
Yes, I know. Let's go. Right, okay. Uh, boys, want the video that's going to be around here? Get this all set up. Well, get us in there first, and then you lead. If, if that's true, Jack will come in from this end and stop over here. Yeah. That's what you're saying? Uh, okay. And, yeah, he'd run past in that okay. direction. Lead us Danny in beer. first. Come you in. Want, you want Danny in first. Yeah, now I'm, we take the 25 in your pocket or something, because I don't know what lens we're going to want. Right. The 18 on the camera, the 25 in your pocket. And we'll bring Jack straight in, something. And the 14, 5 in somebody else's pocket. Danny, what you do? Bring Jack straight Les has to bring him in. Do it right now. Come on. Get him in. Let anybody do it, Brian. Just get him in. Let him realize we're out of time. Harry, can you check the smoke in the center, please? Are we going the right way, Les? Yeah. Uh, yes. They're coming around, sir. We're on our way in. Don't let him run, he's never going to run in the maze. Okay? Here we go. Roll video. Turn over, please. Roll video. Speed, Danny. Don't look at your hands, Danny. Don't look at your hands when you come around. Keep it low, come on. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Keep coming. I'm more scared, Danny. Go. Your mum has said that when you're at home playing with your friends, you like to play a movie making. Is that true? Right. And also, my friends like to play it, but they don't really understand. Well, what do you understand about movie making? Well, they say, you think you're smart, don't you? You know? Well, you know, and I admit... I admit that I do think I am. Well. <laughs> when I come up against a director who has a concept that I, maybe I don't agree with it, maybe I just hadn't thought of it or whatever, I'd be more prone to go with them than my own because I want to be out of control as an actor. I want them to have the control. Otherwise, it's going to become predictably my work. And that's not fun. Well, many parts of that were good. There were quite a few cups, but many parts of it were very good. Let's look at it. I want to put it back, please. Don't it up, please. You didn't do it. I, I, through here, I couldn't tell. I didn't think you got mean enough at the beginning when you said... At the beginning, at you know, the uh, transition, transition point. point. Yeah. <laughs> but the only, many parts of that, the only thing... Come and look at it, Sean. The only part clearly wrong was at the end when you said we've got to get him out of here as you got strong at the end and i think it has to be a last <clears throat> desperate begging you know and i still think you shouldn't jump on every single emphatic line it looks fake it really does it looks like you uh shelly i'm telling you it's too many times every time he speaks emphatically you're jumping and it looks funny so he says, I'll put on my suit and suit. No, I think that line is right. Right. When he lays down. No, I think that line's in the right place. Okay, okay Shelley. So you say, what's the matter with you first? Because what's the matter with you means why are you so angry? What is the matter with you? It doesn't mean what are you talking about? Well, well this is where he lays down, though. That's the only thing I was thinking of. You know, when he flops back on the bed. Since that is new, I thought it, it fit. You know, what's the matter with you? If you, if you talk about <coughs> it, and then he say blows up. right, I'd rather say it now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't think the lines are going to make an awful lot of difference if you get the right attitude. I think you're worrying about the wrong thing. Can we just have a quick uh, chat about it once more, shall we? Do it inside one. Yeah. Now, this is a really a nicer sound for the sort of...
Just get that where it's comfortable and then. Sorry to interrupt this. Could we have a man and a woman to go and sit in the back there by the dancers? Whichever two of you like to go. Which one's two? Man and a woman back there. Yeah. John. Yeah. And. Sorry. Uh, could you just go to one of the empty tables up there on the top there, John, please, up on the left. Oh, if you go with John. Thank you. Uh, on the conversations, everybody, just mouth them. Don't, don't speak. And don't. Joe, 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 please. Don't nod your heads when you're talking. Just talk naturally to each other. Every movie set, and it's here as well. It's just Stanley doesn't relate to it because he is doing exactly what he thinks he should be doing at that moment about it, you know, sort of very single-mindedly. He's emotional on the set, you know. Tell him to reduce the snow. Alan, stand over here! Alan! Alan, reduce, reduce the snow a bit, Al. You can't even hear us. Reduce the snow. I can, I can hear you. Oh, they can hear you on the wall. Uh, yeah. Do I have that stuff in my hand? I've got it now. Stand by, boys. OK, Malcolm? All right, roll video. Get out, Peter. Video speed, Stanley. Right, over. right clear back, boys. Okay, turning, guys. No, wait a minute. Hold it. Hold it. Keep it rolling. Keep the video rolling. Right. Keep the video rolling. Reduce the smoke a little, Alan. Reduce the smoke a little bit, Okay, turn over. Okay, turn over. Right, roll video and action, Shelley. Shelly! Cut it! Oh, come on. What do you mean, roll Two video? Seconds. We're killing ourselves out here, and you've got to be ready. I am too. I'm standing right by the door. Should we play mood music? No, I can't. Yeah, but when you came out like this, you said it is. But we're sitting there because I say, wait a minute, yeah. okay. and then you say yeah. on the radio, go. But when you go. do it, you've got to look desperate, Shelly. You're just wasting everybody's time now. I can't even get this well, fucking door open. Well, have... On the record, I got such a bollocking because they said, turn over, and they said, video rolling and all that, and I got all ready, and jumped up and down, and then, then they said, never mind, cut it. And then I went to take a bite of soup, the next thing I know, action, Shelly. So, if it hadn't been for that, you know, volley of ideas and sometimes butting of heads together, it wouldn't have come out as good as it did. And it also helps get the emotion up and the concentration up because it builds up anger, actually, and you, you get more out of yourself. And he knew that. And he knew he was getting more out of me by doing that. So it was sort of like a game. Anything you do as many times as a successful actor, you can't have one set of theories. You know, you can go for years saying, I'm going to get this thing real, because they really haven't seen it real. Do you know, they just, just keep seeing one fashion of unreal after the other that passes as real. And you... You know, you go mad with realism, and then you come up against someone like Stanley who says, yeah, it's real, but it's not interesting. It, you just, uh, you appreciate all the pain. I mean, you, you always dislike whatever the cause is uh, of pain. You always resent it. So I resented Stanley at times because he pushed me, and he, it hurt. And I resented him for it. I thought, why do you want to do this to me? How can you do this to me? You know, you agonize over it. And it's just a necessary turmoil to get out of it what you want out of it. I mean, we had the same end in mind. It was just that sometimes we differed in our means. And by the end, the means met. And I find I really respect him and really like him, both as a person and as a director. I mean, I'm, I'm amazed. He's taught me more than I've learned on all the other pictures I've done within one year's time on one picture.